channel. If you're new here, my name's Louise or Little Blue, whichever way, it doesn't matter. Um, I am mum to two adult children, Blossom who's moved out, Corey who lives with me, and I have two dogs, Chip and Dale, who are out in the garden, so this will be the first time that we won't have dog barking and things. Another week, another haul. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I do hauls every Saturday without fail. Um, five o'clock every Saturday, so far since I got my channel going last year. Um, I've committed to that, we're definitely gonna have that. So if you like hauls and you enjoy this haul, don't forget to subscribe. Um, I will be doing vlogs through the week at some point when I can get on top of it again. I was doing it in the past, but we'll get there again at some point. And I have been mentioning that a lot over the past few weeks, but I'm not committing to it. So <laughs> it just, when it happens, it happens. So this week I went to Tesco's first and then I went to Asda. Now I usually go to Tesco's first because of the club card deals. If you don't know anything about the club card deals, I do mention it most weeks uh, when I do go to Tesco's. Uh, they have two prices. One is your standard price and then if you've got a club card, you can this different price and different things different weeks. And if you scan it, when you go through the till, you get the lower price. So I always pop in there if I'm in the right frame of mind and I, I know what I'm doing. Um, I'll pop in there and see if they've got any deals. I didn't find anything on the actual deals this week, but I popped in there, got a few bits, and then we went and did the main shop at Asda. I actually don't need much. I've literally eaten toast every morning and a sandwich for every dinner. That's it, and crisps. Um, every day, all week. So the food's in the cupboards, you know, tins, uh, freezer food, Corey's still working on, but he's been eating a lot of pasta. So we didn't really need a lot, even though I did manage to spend pretty much up onto budget, but I did get an extra few bits that I wouldn't normally get on a shopping trip. So let's get on with it. <laughs> we'll start with Asda. Now, as you can see, the only fresh things I've got are potatoes. I bought salad and things last week. They're still in date, they're still good. And like I said, I've not been eating any of it, so I didn't need to stock up on anything else. So we just bought some potatoes. Not sure what I'm gonna use them for yet. The crisps I always get, like I said, I've been eating crisps during the week. Corey eats pasta and he always crunches the crisps up on top of his pasta and then puts cheese on top of it. Now these are 12 packets, so they're ready salted for 80p. I always rave about them. If you've not tried them and you get the chance, give them a go. If you like ready salted crisps, they're very salty and very crunchy. Definitely give them a go. I always buy the six pinter of milk, uh, always semi skimmed. And we was out of sugar this week. Now I found it's slightly cheaper to get the larger one. So we get, the, I think that's the two kilogram. It works out about 5p cheaper, but it all adds up in the, in the long run, it adds up. Tuna. Now this, I get used to get these always to go with Corey's tuna pasta bake. It was a powder I always buy, but they they only had one last week and they had none this week. But the tuna will still get eaten in other pastas and Corey loves to add it into everything. So I always pick up tunas and clearly I have to buy the pastas because Corey's eating pasta pretty much every meal at the moment. I don't know how he manages it. I get bored with pasta. I wouldn't have it every meal. But these are only 29p. Um, I'm going to start getting a bit of a stock going. He's got two packets left but because they're so cheap and they keep for so long, it's just nice to have it in the cupboards. Salted butter, I always, this is me, I always have butter in my sandwiches, on my toast, um, Corey has margarine but I honestly can't remember the last time I ever had to buy it. Um, back onto two of them because I'm having, like I said, toast in the morning and sandwiches every single day so it's getting used. And we was out of cheese slices, uh, mature white cheddar, always get a massive slab of it. Like I said, Corey has lots of pasta at the moment and he grates cheese to go over the top. Now, one of them actually, we don't get through a whole one of them normally, but like I said, I've been eating sandwiches, so I've been eating a bit more cheese as well. Um, we've well, got a slight stock going, so I have to keep an eye on that one. The Primula, love a Primula. They're on a deal at the moment for a pound. I very, very rarely ever buy them full price. Full price, they're 144, pretty much everywhere. Uh, I would only ever get that if like, I had a proper craving for it because I ain't paying the extra 44p because they regularly go down to a pound. If you've not had this one before, they also do other flavours, but I'm not much of a fan. I think they do like a shrimp one, a ham one, and a chive one, I believe. But the Primula is a very good make. This is what I've been having. I found a packet in the freezer, so I've used that one this week. Realise I've got no more, but... Um, I'm not a vegetarian, but I used to be, and I do prefer the texture. I'm, I'm very much a texture person. Um, 
if I bought ham, it would be way, way cheaper. This was £2.50 for 170 grams. That is expensive. But if I buy the ham, I know I'm not going to end up eating it. And I really, really do enjoy these. I looked around. Um, they've got deals in Tesco's. But weight-wise, it still worked out the better price. It's just one of them things you have to bite the bullet and pay a bit more for. Uh, okay. The nachos uh, for possibly having some Mexican this week. If I... I don't know. I'll probably end up just having sandwiches again. I always get the cool ones because I really, really like them. And I always forget what flavour they are. So they are actually creamy tomato and garlic flavour. And Corey always likes the cheesy ones. This is the dip Corey will have with his, the sour cream. And I like a bit of salsa, but I always get the mild because I'm a wuss. Got Roysters this week. They're on a deal for a pound. Very, very nice. Unusual texture to these. I don't know if you've ever tried them before, but they're a T-bone steak flavour and they are really, really good. Used to have these when I was a kid. My mum had a whole thing for them and she would, like, that's all she would eat for months on end. It was always Roysters in the house. Really, really good. Really recommend those ones if you've not tried them before. Again, another corn product. These are the sausage rolls. Again, they're expensive. It's £2.25 and you get three, three small sausage rolls in there. 225 is quite expensive if you think if you've got a meaty one you can get like a big packet of eight for like a pound i think something like that but i'm not really massively into meat at the moment so i have to pay that little bit more dog foods if you've been here before you know that i've been buying these they tend to be eating these more than the webox i always get they have the webox in and they have these heroes now because webox was what they would always eat before then they stopped eating them and I realised it's just because they were bored with it. So I was buying one of these because one of them does both of them because they're small dogs uh, for one meal. And I was doing this for a few nights and then the Webox and they were eating it fine. But they seem to be eating this very, very well at the moment. They're polishing their plate off. So I've actually bought six of them again. They still, like I said, they still got the Webox. So this will do the week. So I got the two turkey and chicken, two beef and two chicken and lamb pâtés chocolate this week now these are only 65p they're the as as i make so this is like their make of a mars bar and this is the twix they also do the snickers one as well but i'm not a fan of uh, peanuts so i didn't get them i have had these before you can tell they're a cheaper version but the chocolate is actually very good so again if you've not given those a go and you want to save a few pennies i'd recommend trying them you know we all have different tastes but I wouldn't turn one of those down so I just bought two packets because I don't know who's eating what at the moment and it's not bad to have extra chocolate in the house <laughs> and I got another loaf of bread which yes I started because I actually bought this yesterday um I did this haul yesterday I just couldn't film it because Corey was cooking and I just couldn't get in here so yeah uh, another loaf of bread this is £1.10 I really enjoy this one I think this is the tin loaf and I also bought pillows. Corey had asked me to pick up some pillows. £8 for two of them. He actually wanted four. But there is so much choice up there. And I was feeling all of them. Nearly every packet was open. People just... Why, why they do that is beyond me. Uh, but I was feeling all of the packets. And they feel the same as all the others. I don't know. So I only bought one packet. Let him figure it out. And then I'll decide which ones I'm going to get after that. And... I bought some these shears aren't they yeah head shears not for a head it's actually for the grass they had a lot of these in there uh, none of them were priced but because i had the scanner go i was scanning them all and surprisingly enough these were only four pounds which i thought was a really good price so they're the that's the extra and that's the extra that i wouldn't normally buy it out of my food money but i have nowhere else for it to, it's got to come out of the food money because money's tight at the moment and if I don't, if it's not in food budget money, these things just don't get bought at the moment. So that was the Asda Tesco's. Now, Corey had asked for um, these sausage patties. He's mentioned a fry up. I think we've got everything else that he would need except eggs, I believe. Um, oh, my nails look dirty. They're not. That's dye from my hair. Um, <laughs> yeah, sorry, got sidetracked by my nails. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, oh, and funnily enough, this was not on my list of things to buy because I didn't really have a list. But whilst I was in Tesco's, reduced to 20p. So muffins also. So he could actually make a breakfast if that's what he wanted. I fancy some fizzy. Um, I don't know. I like I like the carbonated part, but I find a lot of fizzies they're very sweet, and I didn't really want sweet. 
Even lemonades are quite sweet, but I haven't had orange for ages, so I just thought I'd give it a go. That's 99p for four cans, which is a pretty good deal as well. And the Tesco's own fizzies seem to be very good. Again, this one was another bargain. Oh, don't know if you can see that. It's 24p for five bagels. Um, I don't, I'm very much into bread. That loaf might not last the week. If I eat it twice a day, that's going to go down quite quick. So that was a bargain. I couldn't just leave it for that price. Oh, and the um, peppers, again, from Mexican, because I've still got onions left as well. If we have Mexican this week, the ones in Asda actually were terrible. I very rarely buy, like, fruits and vegetables and things from Tesco's. I would normally get them all in Asda. But... I actually went back to Tesco's after Asda to get them because they were so bad in um, Asda this week. I don't know, maybe it's just the season or something, I don't know. Oh, and the pastas for Corey. Um, I bought this one a couple of weeks ago and he really, really enjoyed this one. And they're 64p for a, a jar. So I thought I picked two of them up because I couldn't get the tuna bake ones. And again, another thing that just happened to fall in the basket because it was reduced. 269p we tried to peel all the stickers off and the last one we could find was three pounds something so and look seriously so six i don't think so that's everything so i don't know how i've come off today i feel like i talked weirdly like not just my normal waffle crap type talking but it is what it is um we still came in at budget this week so that's fine i mean like i said i bought a couple of things i wouldn't normally buy with food money but money is tighter and it's going to be for a bit longer for some reason can't wait to get back to work furlough every month since we've been back in furlough my money's gone down so now i actually would be better off going on benefits benefit people right now you're doing better off than i am um, that's not me being sorry for myself or anything, it's just stating a fact. Um, yeah, so money's going to be a bit, a little bit tight. I might need to possibly take my budget down and just work with it. That's the beauty of stocking up when I stock up. Um, we have plenty of food in and I have my money for the freezer shop, which I've been putting aside from the weeks when I'm under budget. So technically the fact the money's going down and it should only be one... Providing the government <laughs> let us go back to work on the 12th of April, I should only have one more payslip, so we can figure it out. We're good. So that was another week. A uh, lot of chatting, as usual. But if you've been here before, you know. I'm going to talk rubbish, because that's what I do. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next Saturday, if I don't see you before. Bye.